Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Beam NG. Once again, we are finally checking out the new 0.27 update that came out for Beam NG. And this is one of the biggest ones they had in a very long time. And it is absolutely incredible. We're going to go over some of the new stuff uh, here with the new vehicles that you see on the screen. But also, we're going to be checking out the new map, Johnson Valley. So one of my favorite vehicles is definitely the Dune Kicker. This thing is absolutely awesome. It sounds great. And it's a ton of fun to drive. Let me tell you what. Look at the uh, suspension going to work here. And you can have a lot of fun doing Baja races and stuff out here in the desert. And uh, man, even on a controller, it's just it's just amazing. It's well done. Check out the interior on this thing. Oh, hello. Very nicely done. Oh, and we rolled it. Yes, we did. There it is right there. And check that thing out. Rolling it over again. Yep. Slow it down a little bit there. There we go. Happy Thursday to all of you. Hopefully... You're having a great week so far. It's good to be back in BMNG. A lot of you wanted me to check out this update, and trust me, I wanted to, but I've been sick with the flu, and it's been a, a bit of rough road. <laughs> Get it? Rough road? Now, this is the SP Rock Basher, you see? Yeah, it's a, a rock crawler, off-road vehicle, and it is uh, really capable of getting some things done here on this particular map, but definitely want to try out the rock crawling with it. I know there's a lot of new scenarios that are impossible by standards of some and i would have to agree because the scenarios in bmng are not easy by any means turn our lights off we don't need those on check that out got a little tower out there in the distance but look at the suspension working as we slow it down here eight times slower actually but what an incredible incredible vehicle i'm very happy to have something like this in the game oh man look at that we rolled it all the way over didn't we yes we did and check it out you'll notice here we have the headlights but they've added bloom as well that's a new thing and then you can see right there with the light bar the old bloom uh was not in the game earlier and it makes the lights look a lot better all right now i didn't show one vehicle here in the beginning and that is this auto bello auto buggy which you can easily get to by going to vehicles and then going into your auto bello piccolina and here you have the baja spec 5 uh, the sequential version and then the extreme as well. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and roll with what we got here and show you what it's all about. It's pretty amazing. Great sound to it. And it's one of my favorites. That's why I wanted to kind of save it as a special guest appearance here. Look at that. The speed you get in this thing is just ridiculous as it should be. You know, for a map like this, but you can get a lot done. That is for certain. Oh, and there's the rolling. And uh, it's very capable. It hangs on there. We lost our off-road lights. No big deal, but get right back onto the road and get back to Baja. If you are a fan of Trailer Park Boys, then you know what an Argo is. And uh, this is a little Argo right here. And it is a lot of fun to drive. It's also... Uh, amphibious so you can take it in the water and we'll uh, do that a little bit later on to show you what that is capable of but a little goofy little uh, vehicle that's for certain nice interior on it has the handlebars on it I love the interior on it and just uh, really cool to see all these new things coming to uh, beam ng now this is a argo as well but it has these massive off-road tires on it and watch when you hit the brakes you can just kind of roll it over i'll show you well it, it does the same things like the argo is you can just spin it around on its axis <laughs> but here if i hit the brakes really hard while going forward you get this <laughs> roll it right over on its roof and you can starve the engine of oil and last but certainly not least we have the autobello stambeco they added and it is a absolute beast as well. Kind of slow to some people, but I think it's very capable um, when it comes to, you know, doing off-roading in the desert. Another really cool feature about this one is that I couldn't find a whole lot of information about it when I was trying to find it uh, out. But if you go to your radial menu here, you'll notice we have tire pressures. They've added dynamic tire pressure system uh, to the game as well. So we have tire pressures here and you can just toggle uh, the front here. And then watch what happens on that tire when we deflate the tire. There you go. Bring it down so we have more traction and grip there. Same thing with the front, or sorry, the, the rear two in the back there. And then we can do the rear one and bring it down as well. And you can see that just changes that on the fly. And then you can hit escape and then you're back at it again with lower tire pressures in those 
tires pretty darn cool i love that and here's the interior of this thing if you're wondering they've been working on the interiors quite a bit and uh, this one is no different uh you do have the ability to uh manipulate these controls you know to hide a low here or you can go over here and you can do the same thing with uh your different uh transfer case uh, options and your differentials now you can always just do it the old classic way and that is to uh, just click on this down here at the bottom. You got range box. You got your front differential. You can lock that transfer case. And then you can uh, change your rear differential as well. So you can do all sorts of interesting things with this vehicle. It's very capable and very cool. Now, this map is absolutely massive. And you can see here's some pits that you can uh, start at. And if we just hit M, we can bring it out to the map and check this bad boy out. Now, this is just a square we're in kind of right here with all sorts of things to do. But this is a highway system here, and you can see it goes all the way up to here, and all of this is explorable. Pretty darn cool. Well, this is the uh, fences here. You have to get on the highway if you want to get out. So uh, that is what we can do. And here's the Dune Kicker Base Camp, Gas Station, Northern Highway, Southern Highway, the Remote Pits, and Settlement. And then here's all your marker collections and your different things you can do with crawling and all that, which we can do. But uh, we want to check out the map. Let's go to the Dune Kicker Base Camp now and uh, we'll check it out. So here's the little base camp. You can see RVs all set up and everything. Good detail here uh, when it comes to everything. Kind of gives you that Horizon Festival look. I'm just kidding. It's more of a, you know, a Baja kind of setup, but very cool detail here. And you can see right down here's the kind of start finish of this little track thing here. So let's just turn this thing around and see what it's all about. There we go. Oh, almost wrecked it. <laughs> almost wrecked it. So, yeah, definitely can't wait to use this particular track and this particular map in multiplayer with the boys. That's going to be a lot of fun. Bring it down and around. There we go. Because I haven't even explored this, the highway system. I've been waiting for you. Oh, man, we rolled it. That's okay. Come on. Oh, not that easy. It's not GTA where you can just knock it over, you know? All right, let's hit a big jump here. Big jump from the inside view. There we go. Oh my God, that was horrible. Yup, that's about as well as I thought it would go. Perfect. Oh, we destroyed the truck. That took no time at all. All right, check it out. Look at that suspension travel on this thing as we hit a big jump here on this track. Hit the brakes a little bit here, but very cool to have some Baja style, well, like trophy truck stuff, you know, in BMNG now. We could do rally before, but now it's kind of starting to uh, push the envelope a little bit. Let's check out the gas station now. A quick travel to there, and we have our uh, other off-road buggy here. Give that a shot. Look at the little T-Rex back here. It's Tyrannos. We have a new gas station now. Yes, we do. Got a lemon? We pay top dollar for scrap-ready cars of any make. And there's the dinosaur right there. Very cool. And this is the highway system I was talking about. We need to put some uh, AI out here. What am I doing? And since we're out here in the middle of nowhere, check it out. We have nothing but the off-road vehicles having a good time. <laughs> There's the one that we're in right there. And there they go with all of our other vehicles, including the Argo. Yeah, I don't mind that. So on pavement, this thing gets up and goes as well. Now we're at 80 miles an hour, 90. A good stretch of road. And this map's going to be great for, you know, trying different things. So it tops out of 114, it looks like right there. We're just going to kind of go off the road here and hit a big jump. Don't mind me. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> slow it down, man. That thing is going insane. Wow. You see how light that thing is. Doesn't take much at all. There went a wheel. Is it going to stop? Oh, will it land it? Oh, it almost landed it but not quite. So let me show you once again here, you have the Autobello Piccolina. So those are your three options right there for that. Um, and then we have the Autobello Stambeco. Here's all the options for that. Look at all these different versions you can have. You can even have a fire rescue version uh, if you want. We'll try that one here. That thing looks amazing. Check that out. Turn on the lights and the siren. And we're off to the races. Well, literally. Uh, Let's get back to the main road over here. I set AI to spawn randomly now, so I don't think it's going to be those off-road guys again. Those stupid off-road drivers out here in the middle of nowhere. You got to love them. 
All right, little stand back go. Let's see what you can do. Fire rescue version. We're going to see what the top speed on this thing is. Although this guy is drunk all over the world. He's going to kill us. Oh, he didn't. He almost, he's about to wreck that thing though. All right, let's take out the little Argo. Let's see uh, how resilient it is to a, a hit from a stand back go. <laughs> Slow it down and absolutely crushed it. The whole right side's destroyed there. That's amazing. I haven't tried a crash in this thing yet, so I don't know what it's capable of as far as uh, crash goes. Let's see. Big jump. Oh, dude, just sailed over the sand like it was no problem at all. Look at that. So yeah, very capable vehicle for sure. So here at the wide rate, you can see we have all these different versions. You got a Zebra Tours, Adventure, Rescue, Custom, Scout 4x4, and then the Mudmaster I showed you earlier. So that is uh, what you can do with that particular vehicle. Moving on down, here's the Dune Kicker. And check it out. You have a stadium version of the truck, an unlimited, and then a spec version as well. And then down here, we have the SP Rock Basher. Check it out. You got a Rock Bouncer version, Rock Crawler version, and a Rock Racer. That's the one we were using right there. And if I went too fast here on the Stan Beko, here's the other options. You have the military versions uh, with a camo on it. Kind of like an ambulance. A lot of uh, different options when it comes to this particular vehicle. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to replace it. We have an old time ambulance. Look at that rotating light on top. And then the, the old time siren as well. Very cool. That actually sounds like a tornado siren. So I forgot I had to delete my other cars. That's the reason why it was just them on the road. What, what are they doing? Just having a good time out there on the, on the dunes, I guess. That's what it seems like. But now we have normal traffic spawning on the highway and we're getting up to speed right now. I do want to see how fast this little ambulance can go. And it's an absolute tank, so we know it will destroy a car, but we're going to have to definitely try that out as we're starting to get about 50 miles an hour. All right, here we go. Let's turn those, uh, turn those sirens on, get people out of the way. Don't mind us coming through people. Coming through, people. Oh, you didn't move over oh, enough. No, this is going to be bad. And just destroyed them. Oh, look at that tank. It, it just kept going, man. Like it never even happened. What about this car? Just drive right over it. Oh, almost. Look at that. It flipped back over on its, on its tires. That is incredible. I have a little bit of a... Uh, you know, an issue with the alignment now because it now wants to pull to the left, but wow, this thing is a beast. And uh, I was expecting it, but I wasn't expecting it to drive through two cars like that with no problem. Let's try hitting this guy over here. Right there. Just, oh, we just got the left front of him and we're off-roading. But a very cool vehicle indeed. I love it. All right, we have the stadium version of the truck. Let's give this thing a, a whirl see what it's all about look at that just burning out all the way down the road we get up to speed here and explore the map a little bit more here over 100 miles an hour already it's gonna get more dicey with traffic here 125 looks like that's where it's going to just end up right there horrible crash <laughs> and into that car too you have got to be kidding me man I thought we were going to be okay there for a second, but nope. Oh, they're destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. All right, now this is the spec version of the truck. So now we're getting just straight grip. All acceleration. And we'll see what speed we get here on this bad boy. I'm starting to get up to speed now. A lot of traffic on this road. A lot of traffic. Don't mind me. You know, it's a do not pass zone but that's okay they're doing it too they're doing it too let's hit the off-road here 111 miles an hour no biggie oh man that did not screw this thing up at all around these guys oh there goes the tire <laughs> man well these things are designed to crash at high speed and you can see they do a really good job of it. So looking at the map we haven't tried out the northern highway yet so let's go ahead and quick travel up to the northern highway up here you see a little pull off zone and uh oh man lots of traffic up here on this road i want to try to brake torque this thing around 
and it doesn't really want to do it. So clearly they don't want you to go past this part of the map. So that's the way that they're uh, stopping you from doing that. So even though it's a huge map, this uh, particular spot here is the end of the road. So now we can head south. But check out the interior on this thing. Pretty amazing. Pretty darn good. What are these guys doing? Oh, they crashed. How sad. So fourth gear, about 82 miles an hour. You can always go off-road with this thing when you want to. And look at that. Maintain speed, no problem. And you also notice we have motion blur. They added that motion blur. I think it was the last update that they refined all that stuff. But 104 miles an hour right now. Dicing in and out of traffic. 107. Oh, man, she doesn't want to turn. Oh, why are they... They're, like, turning into me. I don't know why they're doing that. All right. Let's try this. It's going to be tricky. Oh. <laughs> Although, man, this thing held up really well in that crash. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And looking at the map, we have the Southern Highway now. So let's go down there so we can check that out. That's going to be way down here. So it's quite a bit a stretch of highway. Yeah, and they did the same thing down here to show that the road is closed. So very cool. I like it. Pretty clever. All right, we got to take the Savetta out for a spin here on this road because it's what it's designed for. The open road, 130 miles an hour already. Dice in between traffic and dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Just ripped the whole back end of the car off. Don't mind me. Just some rich jerk having a good time out here on the roads, you know, in our Savetta. Now, off-road, it doesn't do so hot. Look at that. Not good at all. Yeah, rip that off, no problem. And it's still going. There's our tire flying by us. We have the remote pits. We saw that as well. That was all the way out here. That's what I showed you when we were driving by there. So that's that little settlement there. And then we have uh, the other, the last thing actually, and that is the settlement. And uh, we already did the, no, we did the base camp. We did not do the settlement. So this is where I started my adventures was right here at this little settlement. And let's try out the little Argo four by four <laughs> out here on the desert roads. It's not very fast. And, you know, top speed of 19 miles an hour. Yeah, that's... That's not a lot to say. All right, and here we are at Jungle Rock Island, and we're going to try the Argo in the water. Can't uh, complete this video without doing this, so you can see what it, she is capable of doing. And uh, it's not going swimmingly so far. I mean, it is doing what it's supposed to do, but man, it is slow, isn't it? You can see uh, Argo is not the fastest thing in the world. You can turn it left and right, but I mean, it's gonna do about, I mean, that's wheel spin there. But you can see how fast it is in the water. But it floats. That's all that matters, right? Let's try the custom version. Maybe it's a little faster on the water. But maybe it's not. I mean, yeah. See, that's just wheel spin saying it's doing 20 miles an hour. But it's not. Although it's faster in the water now. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. But as you can see, it indeed does float as it should. It is an Argo. That's what they're all about. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of Beam NG Drive and the new updates. If you haven't updated it, it's definitely worth checking out. Very cool stuff they added, and they keep making this game better and better with each update. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.